Welcome everyone back to the Maverick Live Trading Room. This is Jeff Killian, Chief Market Strategist for the Inside Technician. We have just entered a trade in the S&P E-mini futures. You're looking at a one-minute chart. Your month being traded is 12, 2013. The entry is right here. At this point, just getting below our most recent support level is laid out by these bars broadcasted out to the future. The volume that came in here for approximately 2,500 contracts after the 15-minute chart setup was the reason for price to get through and finally close to that level. We are marked to the market trading at 1681.25 right here as you can see again the entry being exactly here on the close. market up right now. <clears throat> Short for 30 contracts. Right here on the entry. Yeah. Yeah, it was 16, yeah, 1681. <clears throat> Better to mark it up a little better so everyone can see it. <clears throat> Here we have it. Now, where we are still in the overnight session, I don't expect that the prices will fall quickly. What I do expect is that we have a minimum price profit target at this point to get to, and many others that are laid out lower than this level that prices have laid out when they traded up earlier on. Okay, let's get back to here. And there we are. Again, a real-time trade being recorded by myself, Jeff Killian, Chief Market Strategist for the Inside Technician for all subscribers to see an example of the Maverick live trading room available in the near future. We're looking to pick up as close to round the clock coverage as possible. With the service, let's take a look at the 15 minute chart set up here. Excellent, very strong negative divergence as compared to a lower and then a higher top indicating the pent up selling pressure that eventually is now starting to take place. Here, another out of the MACD, clear to go, very clear to go on the uh, MFI short term. Great setup. Longer term is flat, then starts to turn down 6.45 and on. Clear to trade short, dump was here. The gap was filled on a daily chart, and now prices are falling back. EMA's cross way back here, clear to be short. Again, <clears throat> trading 30 contracts, 30 lots short. S&P mini futures, 7.15, now 7.16 a.m. mark to the market. Prices are trading at 16.80.50, falling in our favor.
incremental support may be found at this level here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are there now. 1680.50, 1680.25 is the level broadcasted out from the previous at approximately 5.15 a.m. Real-time trade now gapping down S&P E-mini futures. Managing this trade in real time. Entry back here at 7.10 a.m., right here trading down sharply now more volume coming in for 1368 contracts after the original 2500 here getting us through the entry point 1681 25 getting into 1681 1681 I'd like to get down to 1679 and reassess. Managing this trade in real time. <clears throat> Clear to stay, clear to stay, clear to stay, clear. You're viewing a real-time trade, the S&P mini futures being managed, one minute chart, the near month, contract traded December 2013, 30 lots short. 7.10 a.m. Eastern. The additional volume that's coming after the the volume the initial volume here was the catalyst to get through the level here at 1681.25 for the fill of 1681. The additional volume that's come in here on a sell-off should propel the prices all the way down to um, 1678.75. With an end at 1681. A 1678 would be the end goal for three points. As I expected, prices moving down in a slower manner because we are still in the overnight session. Now 7.21 a.m. Eastern on October 1st, 2013. 7.21 a.m. Eastern Standard, and again October 1st, 2013.
we are now at target 2 is 1679.50 with a probe below it. Clear across the board. Eight minutes left within this 15-minute bar. Interesting price move, short period of time. There's your violation from a intraday intermediate term perspective. <clears throat> Here we have it. Connect points. <laughs> Managing the trade in real time. E mini futures, one minute chart, year month being traded December 2013. For the Maverick trading, the Maverick live trading room. being brought to the public in the near-term future in early 2014. This room will be open close to, close to um, 18 hours a day. All the administrators within this room are highly experienced traders who have been personally taught by me within the executive mentorship program. Here at the Inside Technician, how to trade the smart money methodology designed by us over 20 years ago. We are managing this trade to the downside right now. <clears throat> we have a, a temporary stall with probes below at 1679.50. I'm unaffected by that. Short-term money flow is full to the downside. A lot of room to go here on the MACD. We are managing the trade in real time on the E-minis. For those of you that are fast forwarding uh, from the yen, we're now at 1679.50, an expected incremental level. Looking to get down to 1678. The market takes us down that far. All 15-minute indicators are clear to stay short at this time. Again, trading mark to the market, 1679.75 for the Maverick Live Trading Room. The Maverick Live Trading Room will be open early January 2014. <clears throat> Excuse me. All administrators being highly trained traders 
handling different segments of the day across the globe. Sixteen seventy nine fifty, sixteen seventy nine twenty five. Sixteen seventy nine. All clear to stay short. Seven twenty eight AM now, October first, two thousand thirteen. Last price, sixteen seventy nine twenty five. Say sixteen seventy nine twenty five. Shaking money flow now turned down. Greater momentum here. And a negative 611. Still fall on to the downside. Money flow index. Sparity wadding, MECD clear on SMI. A lot of distance to go. There we are now at 1678.75. Looking to get to 16. 78 out on a rally for three points and 30 contracts. Very little resistance between here and the level at 1678 to get out for the rally. Here we are trading down. New 50-minute bar just open, 1678.75, clear, 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 clear. <clears throat> Here we have more volume coming in now. Substantial buy-in or sell-off remains to be seen, 1695 contracts. Last 1678.75, 7.31 a.m. Eastern Standard on October 1st, 2013, managing S&P mini trade short in 30 contracts, 30 lots short at 7.10 a.m., 16.81 flat. Looking to get the 16.78 on a rally out, three points.
<clears throat> Looking to get out of 1678 on a rally. Sixteen seventy eight on a rally, finishing up managing a real time trade on the E mini futures. You're looking at a one minute chart for those of you that are fast forwarding here near month contract twelve two thousand thirteen in at sixteen eighty one flat at seven ten AM. Thirty contracts, thirty lots short. Time is now seven thirty three AM. Again, October first, twenty thirteen. Price trading back up. We are out at sixteen seventy nine. Not giving it back. This could be a retracement to the upside. 1679 filled. Sixteen seventy nine filled. Yeah, I have the confirmation. So picking up a quick a quick two points here. This trade may continue to fall, but at this point, uh, the decision was made to get out of the trade and book the profit, which is what, if there's any doubt whatsoever, any trader should do. The profits are what creates the green in the account. At 16.79, again filled right here. Yeah, I see it. I got it. A little delicate here. <clears throat> and price is stabilizing at near that level at sixteen seventy nine. <clears throat> Let's save this. Okay, another example of a short-term correction to the upside. The decision was made to get out of this trade. Now, as it stands, because the overall general market smart money bias market trading call from our perspective at the inside technician, based on our smart money trading methodology, again, the overall market, the overall market, excuse me, uh, bias call is at a short level with a strength of eight okay um, at this point 30 contracts were traded within the Maverick live trading room to demonstrate when we have a market bias call in conjunction with a high probability trade not just any type of trade a true high probability set up to the downside with the smart money volume coming in uh, we can pick up a lot in a short period of time because of time constraints, uh, I cannot stay in this trade any longer. The decision was made to book to. Here we are moving down again to the original target at 1678. I'm sure that a lot of my administrators are still in this trade, are valued partners at the Inside Technician and the Maverick trading room. So for today, for today, let's finish it up and close it out. Two points.
I like the hold time on this trade. Gain two points. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two points gained for 30 contracts. <clears throat> uh, two points times $50 for every full point move in this market equals $100 net gain per contract times the 30 contracts that were traded equals a net gain for the trade. of 3,000 US. In a very short period of time. My pleasure to provide all of you with uh, this real-time recorded trade demonstrated by myself, Jeff Killian, Chief Market Strategist for the Inside Technician. We welcome all of you to the upcoming uh, in early January 2014, Maverick Live Trading Room, where all subscribers will be able to uh, see this information within the trading room as the setups appear and as we decide to take these high probability trades and pick up these kind of points again, in this case, in a short period of time. We'll see you again on uh, the next uh, YouTube video. The uh, market intelligence report as produced by the Inside Technician five nights a week and our next real-time winning trade.